Hi, my name is Carlos Castaneda, and uh, I'll go straight to the point. Uh, for those who have um, Adobe uh, programs like Sound Booth, After Effects, maybe Photoshop, um, this might help you. Uh, if you you're, if you're watching your hard drive, uh, just be uh, de uh, decreasing size very fast. And if you have Adobe, you might want to check out uh, Sound Booth uh, and After Effects. I believe After Effects also has that. Now. Uh, Sound Booth it does something very stupid. Uh, it'll back up things that you do inside Sound Booth without asking you. So if you do a file that is six megabytes, you know, conversion, whatever, it'll back it up. Even though if you delete the original one where you told it to send it, and um, and if you're doing like sermons or something like that, because some people do sermons that is about sixty megabytes, you know, sermons ninety megabytes, and as you do those, it's gonna pile up, pile up, and this is where I found mine. It's very tricky to get there. So you go to whatever your username is, library, application support, Adobe. Sound booth, in, if you have sound booth, and then 1.0, and then media cache files, and then it's inside backup Mac. Now, here I had about 20 gigabytes of just files that it backed up, so this helped me a lot. And I, I just recently found this, I just go to plain simple documents, Adobe Sound Booth 2.0. And here I had about 570 megab 570 megabytes of just songs that also did like a backup of it. It's it's like I, I think it does two different backups in two different places. So right just right there, I saved myself like uh, I saved myself 21 gigabytes easily. Plus other things that I found from uh, F F uh, After Effects, uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, things that it was just not you know I did not need those and I had to kinda of go in there so mostly the stuff that you're gonna find it's inside the application support Adobe and you look it up here and there's you know Illustrator and stuff like that and if you installed uh, um, a newer version of uh, Illustrator or whatever it's gonna have those files here like CS3, CS2, whatever so you need to delete those for some reason even this program right here App Cleaner does not get those now, uh, I hope this helps you. Thank you very much. And my name, once again, is Carlos Castaneda.